Hi, this is Eleanor at Odysseys Unlimited, and today I am thrilled to be introducing you to our online portal and walking you through the basics of using the online portal. When logging into the My Odyssey online portal, my preference is to use Google Chrome. However, you would be able to use any web browser of your choice. Once you have opened your web browser, in the browser bar, you will want to navigate to My Odyssey dot odysseys hyphen unlimited dot com. You can also access the My Odyssey portal by going to odysseys hyphen unlimited dot com and in the upper right hand corner clicking My Odyssey, which will bring you to the home page. And we do use two-factor authentication for our online portal. This is because we do keep your personal information here and we want to ensure that it is safe and protected. Further, with two-factor authentication, you do not need to set a password. Once you are on this page, you will type in the email address that is associated with your reservation. This would be the email that you provided one of our travel counselors when reserving over the phone. Once you have entered that email, you will hit submit, and that will bring you to this page asking for a code. It is very important that you do not close this page. If your email is something that you access through an online browser, then you'll go to the top of your browser and you'll click the new tab button and you'll navigate to the email app that you do use. If you use a third-party app, you would want to go forward and open that application where you will see your My Odyssey code. I do recommend that as soon as you do have that code noted down, you delete the email. These codes are good only for one use, and they are also good only for a limited amount of time, so quickly deleting the email does ensure that you won't be using a code in the future that has expired. Once you have the code, you'll go to the My Odyssey sign-in page again, and we'll paste that right in. Once you've done so, you would hit Submit, and that will bring you to your My Odyssey homepage. From here, you can see an overview of the reservations that you do have, along with a countdown to help get you excited. On the left-hand side, you will see a menu where you can navigate throughout the My Odyssey portal. From the profile page, you can view your personal details, including your best contact information, your passport information, any health information that we should have on file for your upcoming tours, an emergency contact, and any air travel information. We do ask that you confirm information is if it is correct, and you can do that on the right-hand side by clicking Confirm. It is also very important that your passport information exactly match how it is on your documents. This is because this is what all air travel and hotel reservations will be made under, and we want to ensure there are no issues with your travels. To view details of your upcoming reservations, you'll see on the left-hand menu, it will have the name of the tour, and you can click Tour Details and Documents. On this page, you will see a summary of your tour, a brief overview of your tour details, and then the details of your travel documents. We do ask that all travelers read and acknowledge our Odysseys and limited terms and conditions. To be able to acknowledge the terms and conditions, you will need to open them. And to do so, you'll click the blue link, and that will open a new tab in your browser where you can read through the documents before acknowledging them. Once you have read through the Odysseys Unlimited Terms and Conditions, at the top of your screen, you can either close this tab or just navigate right back to the Tour Details and Documents tab. You can click that box and hit Agree. The page will reload after a moment, and as you scroll down, you'll see that the travel documents now shows that you have agreed to the terms and conditions and the date on which it was done. 
Down below, we also have information that we recommend that you review before travel, and we've broken this down into must-reads, information about your tour, and more. When there is a green new sign next to the document, it means that you have yet to open that document. If you click on it, it will again open the information in a new tab where you can review the information or download it to your computer for future reference. Once you have finished reviewing the information that you need, you can go back to the Tour Details and Documents tab. Also below, we do have a listed itinerary. This is a basic breakdown of where you will be during your tour. Again, you can download and print this itinerary for your reference. On the left-hand menu again, we do list an invoice where you can view and download your invoice for your reference. Again, on that left-hand menu, we give you the option to make payments. If you go to that payments page, you will see a history of payments that you have made. If you scroll down, it gives you details of our cancellation penalty structure. And if you go further down, it provides you the option to make payments on our online portal. On the right hand side, you'll see that you can pay either the outstanding balance or you can pay other amounts. This is a good option if you prefer to make smaller payments leading up to your final payment date. Thank you for following along with me today. I hope this has been a useful presentation and prepares you for your future travels with Odysseys Unlimited.